Okay, today we're going to uh, assemble the Baylog Batwing with a uh, front mount crossbar board onto this beautiful Mark II Commando Stretch Kayak. First thing I'm going to start with the spray cover. So in this scenario we're going to uh, be uh, sailing this boat in the solo configuration. So right now we've got the seat in the middle of the boat, solo position, solo rib uh, number four and solo rib number three are in the boat. I'm going to go ahead and install the, uh, the uh, solo spray cover now. Okay, there's the spray cover on. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and put on the, uh, the front mount crossbar mounting board. Okay, now next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the uh, front mount crossbar board. So we're mounting this obviously up front and basically it's going to go on like this here and we're going to we're going to uh, we're going to put four J-bolt, web bolt clamps on this thing that is going to hold that in place very securely. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install the four web bolts. So these web bolts actually hook under the combing and they're hooking over the spray cover also. So that's the web bolt. So I've pushed that up under the combing. And we're not going to tighten those up too tight right now. Then the next one is going to go here. Push that up like that. Fender washer and wing nut. All right, now I'm gonna come to the other side of the boat and do the same drill. Okay, now I'm going to tighten them up a little bit. You don't want them too tight. You don't want to be crushing things. Just snug. You'll know more, you know, when you get the crossbar and pontoons on there, how tight that really should be. But again, you don't want to make it too awful tight. Like that right there. All right, the next thing now we're going to put on is we're going to put on the crossbar. Okay, now that we've got the... Uh, the uh, front mount board mounted securely with the four web bolts. Now we're going to go ahead and attach the crossbar to, to the mounting board. And again, you'll see in a series of videos that doing it this way and, and then the center mount board, um, we, we, we are able to put the crossbar on the boat in any location. And you'll, you'll, you'll see the benefits of all that as we move through further, further videos. Okay, so what we're going to do here, bolt goes up through the board, through the riser. There.
All right, that is now the crossbar is mounted on to the uh, to the to the board, and as you can see, the the crossbar now with the long haul uh, mounting system, the crossbar is also now going through these uh, aluminum we call them triplers, which adds a lot of strength uh, to that crossbar. All right, next thing we're going to do is we're going to blow up the uh, the uh, ama or the pontoon and uh, we found these uh, mini K pumps are really a perfect uh, um, accessory for the boat for blowing up the uh, the amas and the air sponsons in the boat okay next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, plug the uh, Aka and the AMA into the crossbar. And with a fast pin, make that connection there. Very simple. And uh, I've got these, I've got these uh, AMAs blown up very tight. That's important. All right. Now I'm going to go ahead and install this beautiful mahogany lee board. So this is going to slide on first. Here, I'm going to take the Aka, plug it in, line up those holes. There. Set right there. That's how that goes together. And so the, the, the mahogany lee board is actually on a clutch. So this thing goes up and down. And uh, this clutch can be uh, tightened up with three screws here in the clutch. That puts more compression on that clutch. So you want that set so that lee board will, will hold in place but it's made to have a clutch if you get into shallow water and you're moving forward, that lee board comes up. Well, here's Otto, my assistant. He is a good boy and he's in on the action here. So anyway, so this is the bottom section of the mast and it's got the, uh, square, the square plug in it. And that is what inserts into the square hole or the mass step in the keel. Okay, next we're going to go ahead and uh, slide the, uh, the 24 square foot sail onto the bottom section of the mast. Okay, next step, we're going to put in the center section, the mast, here, and then I'm going to grab the main halyard. This is at the top of the sail. Halyard goes through the top. Okay, now we got that. The next thing we're going to put on is we're going to put on this four inch deck board with two clams.
All right, so this is my control board for my main halyard and my sheet now. Okay, next thing, we're gonna take the halyard and we're gonna go through the dead eye, or I call it a fair lead, like that. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and raise the main sail with the halyard, like this. And I'm gonna clam that off right there. Next thing I'm going to do is I have this line here, which is my downhaul line for this scenario. This downhaul line is connected to the board. I'm going to disconnect my bridle. This is a great place to connect your bridle when the when the sail is being stored. There, okay. Now, the downhaul is going to go through this little block here, like that, and then through this fair lead here in the middle. So, I am going to pull down on the bottom of the sail while I'm pulling this and you want that nice and taut right there now we have pulled down on the sail that's the down haul right there all right next thing is our sheet have our bridle here. On this particular scenario I'm going to go ahead and hook it up right here on the lifeline like that. So now, now the sheet. We're going to run the sheet. through the third fair lead right here, the end of it, through the fair lead, and I'm gonna bring that sheet back to the cockpit, back to the control board. I, I guess I kinda call the, the sheet, this is, this is the gas pedal right here for the whole sail rig. Right there so you can either you can either hang on to the sheet or if you're cruising you can go ahead and just stick in the clam and now it's hands-free sailing just like that right there a few things of interest here um, the 24 uh, square foot sail has three battens. That's the rib that, that crosses across the sail. Those are stiffeners. So each batten has a, 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 a buckle where you can tighten the sail. And you want to, you want to tighten that, all three battens. That gives that, that, uh, sail that beautiful wing shape so when you're sailing and using it you want to have a, a little bit of tension on those 
buckles on the batten and when you're putting it away to store it you want to release the tension on those on those uh, buckles to release the tension on that sail so it's not under tension while you're you're uh, storing it all right the next thing I'm going to do uh, the the 24 square foot sail reefs one time and what I mean about reefing is is we're actually going to zip this sail together to decrease the size of the sail and um, uh, and that is basically for when you start getting into higher winds you're going to start reefing the sail down the uh, the, uh, the the way to think about that is if you're sailing um, and you're sailing in 15 knot winds you want to reef the sail down once now if this was a 32 or a 36 square foot you'd be able to reef the sail twice you'll see that in other videos but if it's blowing at 15 knots you want to reef it once if it's blowing at 20 knots you want to reef it twice so the great the higher the wind the smaller the sail the lower the wind the bigger the sail so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of drop this sail a little bit. I'm going to zip this thing together. So I'm going to release the downhaul and I'm going to release the main halyard here a little bit like that. And now I'm going to take this and I'm simply zipping that together like that. Okay, then on the back side of this now also I'm going to connect these buckles there. So now we've de decreased the size of that sail down to an 18 square foot. So now here is the 24 square foot main sail that has been reefed one time and now we've uh, turned that into a uh, 18 square foot sail.